Boat up, boys. Here we go. Well, guys, welcome to the video. So today, me and Roland are doing a little bank fishing. And uh, I'm gonna start trying to do these a little bit more, but we're gonna show you guys how to bank fish, and we're hooked up with the second good fish of the day here. Let me get the net. Uh, uh. What? What? Big drum? Wow. Slammed it. I thought that was a blue cat, bro. I was about to say, oh my god. I guess a goo. It's a goo. Look at the size of this big boy. On the cut bait. Oh, bro, he's got scabs and stuff. Oh, no, it's not. Yeah, it is. He's got scars and stuff. Woo! Uh, come up here. Hold him up, bro. Nasty fish. Yeah. There we go, boys. Good fish, good fish. So, what we're doing, we're just soaking bait out here, guys, and just trying to get a bite. We've already caught about a 10 pound blue cat, uh, one Gasper goo, and we hook into this behemoth. <laughs> so, we're gonna let him go and uh, keep trying, guys. I'm, uh, we're gonna explain how to bank fish today, but. Basically, stick and move, try your luck, catch a few fish. Beautiful. Hooked up again, but we just let the drum go and this rod goes off. Oh man. Hell yeah. So guys, what we're doing, we're just finding these outfalls where the water's pushing out and just find some deeper water. Just had a cold arctic blast and we're bowed up again. Probably another drum. Drum? Oh, it's a red? Oh, it's a big drum. Wow, the cup bait doing work. All we're doing guys, we're catching these mullet and uh, throwing out just chunks and God, look at this. That was what, like 30 minutes ago? Look at him, bro. Look how shallow it is. That's what I'm saying. It's like three foot of water. Yeah. It's a pretty Mm-hmm. Turning it up. Woohoo! Maybe the drum scared off our blue cats, Rowan. Either or. Just something to pull the line. Look at him. That's a big one. Cut bait. Nice one, bro. Nice. Oh yeah, in the net. Got him. God, he, he's colored like a redfish. That one. There we go, boys. Shoo wee. Just using cut mullet and uh, throwing out here. So our general rule is if we don't get a bite within like 15 minutes or so, we move. And uh, we were just about to move and then we just had these two hits back to back. That's, that's all it is guys, just throw an array of baits out there. We're just, we're just looking for a bite today. We're not even trying to catch a specific fish. Well, we're trying to catch blue cats. I'll show you the blue cat on a stringer, but look at this one. That's a pretty fish right there. There you go, bro. Beautiful fish. Big Woo wee. All right, let's let him go. There he goes. Shallow water. Woohoo! <laughs> oh. All right, guys. So this is the first fish we caught today, which is the main fish we're really after today is blue catfish. So a lot of people don't know this, but we're real close to the Mississippi River in Louisiana. So it's a lot of brackish area in this uh in my little area here, and it's not uncommon for you to catch bass, blue cats, and stuff like that while you're catching reds and specks. So. We're gonna try to have a little bank fish fun here, maybe catch a couple big ones like this and make a little fish fry. A red? What? Oh my god. On the live mullet? What? You just threw that out there! I'm just 
stinger. On the stinger? Wow. He might, uh... He'd be close. He'll be real close. You just threw that out there. Oh, that'd be right there, Rowan. Wow. <laughs> we'll take it. Might as well sit right here, man. Nice. Might as well sit right here. Look up well guys, I'm not sure you saw what happened there. I was on the other side just checking it out and Ro was like, fish on! He just threw this out there. And we have a 22, 23 inch red. Yes sir. 23. 23. Woo! Hold him up, bro. Hold him up. Yeah, yeah. Look Flexing. Flexing Ow. There we go, guys. That's that's Texas fishing for you right there. You catch a blue cat and then a bunch of saltwater fish. All right, guys. So, kind of give you a little breakdown of what we're doing here. So, right now it's winter time, and in winter time it's it's these fish either gang up really hard or um, you're not just gonna you're not gonna catch them. So right now we have a pretty warm day right here, and what me and Roland are fishing here is a. Uh, a big flat right here if you guys see when the barges come by this thing is dirt shallow right here out there there's a ledge where it drops off and that's where we're launching our baits out there and um this this water is providing current right here the, the water's getting pushed out and real pretty water versus this dirty water right here so this is kind of a brackish uh area right here so we have a chance of catching big blue cats redfish and everything else so oh 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 rolling Oh, that one on. Damn. Okay, so we missed that one, just like right there. What we're doing, we're throwing an array of baits out there, and um, the mullet are really doing really well. Uh, cut mullet. Got a couple live ones, a little finger mullet out there, like this little rig right here. That's been working really well. Just dropper loops. And throwing out and waiting. It's the name of the game right now. Got him! Got him! Oh my god. Oh my god. He's on this line, he's on this line. I got you, I got you. Under. Nice, rolling. Oh, oh, oh. On, 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 on. Double. Double. Let's go. Double. I don't know what mine is. Right here, guys. I caught, uh, we're both on cut mullet right here. Nice. Oh, by the drum, I think. Oh my God. <laughs> on the little rod. Uh, oh no! Oh my God! I thought I, I thought I saw a fork on the tail. <laughs> what are you gonna do, Roland? With the nets up there? Oh my God! We got to get a picture for this one, Roland. Oh, mine's a catfish, Roland. Mine's a giant catfish. Oh my it's God, a giant catfish. It. Oh, oh God, drag him up, drag him up, drag him up. Oh my God, this is a giant blue cat, guys. Oh, oh my God. Roland, this is a massive blue cat. It looks like the same fish I saw. Oh my God, get the net, brother. Oh my God, guys, this is a giant blue cat. Look at the size of this thing. No, on the cut mullet. Look at this thing, boys. Oh my God. The craziest double. Look at this thing. Bigger than the first one, Roland. 
Let's go! Let's go! <laughs> Let's go! Let's go! Holy crap! Holy crap! Look at this, guys! Oh my god! Oh my god! That's part of the That's a good 12 pound. Oh my god! Look, oh, no, just came out. Right out, bro. The tiny little. Bit. Look, guys, this is all the reach we're using today. This is it. We're just doing dropper rigs right here, and I'll show you guys how to tie this later. But look at it, Roland. Do a pose on them. Oh, oh, look at oh my god! Hey, fool. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh my goodness. <laughs> nice. Look at the belly. That is crazy. Let's go. Let's go to the truck and set them up and get a double. <laughs> Saltwater fish. Freshwater fish. The most unlikely double you would ever expect. Woo -wee. Nice. All right. So he's going on stringer. That one's going back. Look at this thing. Oh my god. <laughs> oh my god, I'm so sorry. There you go, boys. Woo! Yes, rolling! Whoa. Woo! Alright, boys, this is the comparison of the fish. Look at the big one compared to this one. That's a good one. Too. We thought that was a big one. That's a that's a Big one. Hold, bro. Just down it. All right, guys. So we're using two basic rigs here. So one is called a, I call it a dropper rig. Got a sliding weight, tie on a little drop sinker, little section here how it goes to a hook. And then up here, I have a swivel with another branch that you have a little hook on. This is our kind of like our small catfish and smaller fish setup just to get a bite. Putting little chunks of uh, cut mullet on this one. Now for the bigger rods, which we all, me and Roland always bring these bigger rods out because you always have a good chance of catching drum and just having something to do while the other rods aren't getting bit. So here I have a uh, bait runner reel. So the bait runner, this is a lever that lets drag out. But when I click it over, I have the fight and drag. And it's a good one because when these fish run, you let them run. When they really have it, you click the rod over and that's where the circle hook comes into play. This is an ADOT Mustad perfect circle hook, 80 pound fluorocarbon leader, 50 pound braid, and about a three ounce weight. And uh, all we've been doing is catching these mullet and chucking them up and sending them. So hopefully that helps you guys. It's really when you're bank fishing, you're gonna be sticking to moving a lot. If me and Roland been here for like a couple hours and we've had a good steady bite, that's kind of why we're staying. But Usually when we pull up, we fish what, maybe 30 minutes rolling? Yep. Don't get a bite and we, we, we move. It's all about sticking to moving and finding areas that you know look good and you have confidence that their fish are there. Could we fish here with lures? Yeah, but with the lures, it's just a, um, it's gonna take a while. It's gonna take a while. Like most of these fish aren't lure hitters. Like the redfish, the one rolling caught, one only caught one. But we're just here having a good time catching fish, so. Hopefully that helps you guys. We're gonna catch a few more fish and see what's up. All right, boys. That's what we ended the day with right there. A couple studs out here. Not bad for a couple hours of fishing and having just a good time with my brother here. Put it in the meat. Put him in the bucket. Can't even fit in the bucket. Can't even fit in the bucket. Whoo, man. Imagine we caught a couple. If you catch like two or three more, that's a lot of meat, bro. All right, guys, so I hope you enjoyed the video. If you guys really like these bank fishing videos, hit that like button. Let me know in the comments. I'll do a lot more of them. Uh, just a fun little time out here. Better than sitting at home. So thank you guys for watching. Like, comment, subscribe. And I'll see you next time. Peace.